to find the magnitude of the angular velocity and also the angular acceleration by simply knowing the tangential velocity or the tangential acceleration. But both angular velocity and angular acceleration are vectors. Thus, we need to know a direction for them along with magnitude. The way we find the direction for them simply is using the right hand rule. Take your right hand and align it with the radius. Then curl your fingers in the direction of the velocity vector, curling around this way, or the direction the wheel is actually going. Stick out your thumb. The direction that your thumb points is the direction of the angular velocity, omega. You, uh, you should do the exact same thing for angular acceleration. Align your right hand with the radius, curl it in the direction of the tangential acceleration. If the tangential acceleration is trying to speed the wheel up, you will notice that the tangential acceleration is going to be pointing the exact same way as the tangential velocity. So I curl my fingers this way, point my thumb up. The angular acceleration vector is coming out of the page as well. Now, this is for an accelerating idea. If a wheel is decelerating, you will see thing, you will see the velocity and the acceleration vectors opposite of each other. Here, my angular velocity, aligning my right hand with the radius and curling towards the velocity or the direction the wheel is going, po uh, poking out my thumb, angular velocity is coming out of the page. But angular acceleration will require that now I flip my hand over. Notice now I align my fingers with the radius, but to curl my fingers, uh, curl my fingers in the direction of the acceleration, trying to slow the wheel down, if you will, trying to slow the wheel down. And then whenever I put up, put out my thumb, my thumb now is pointing into the page, so my angular acceleration will point down into the page. This can be done not just with something flat on a page, but it. Uh, with any rotational motion in our three-dimensional world. Align your fingers with the radius, curl them in the appropriate direction either towards the velocity or towards the acceleration vector. Put out your thumb. Whichever direction your thumb is pointing is the direction of either the angular velocity or the angular acceleration depending on which one you are looking for.